welcome to Branches. My name is Alexis and I'm an amateur genealogist. Every week I discuss all things genealogy. In today's video, I will be discussing a short um, summary of Jesse Garrett Plunkett's life. Let's get into it. Okay, Jesse was born to William Jesse Leonard Plunkett and Elizabeth Scantlin on March 27, 1841. William and Elizabeth had about 10 children, uh, possibly more. The earliest record we have for Jesse is the 1850 census. He's listed as being nine years old and living in Montgomery, Indiana with his parents. In the 1860 census, he is listed as 18 years old and it must have been taken just before his birthday in March because he should have been 19 that year. Um, he was living in his mother's household with three younger brothers, Robinson, Ransom, and John. And then nine years later, Jesse married Sarah Jane Beckelheimer on November 18, 1869 in Putnam, Indiana. In the 1870 census, he and Sarah are living with her family. Jesse would be about 29 years old at this time, and he's listed as being a farm laborer. I'm assuming he must have been helping out on her father's farm. And he's also listed as not being able to write. It didn't say he couldn't read, just that he couldn't write. And the couple is also listed as having a son, Charles Plunkett. And Charles was about five years old at this time. But he's not mentioned in any other census after this. So that makes me think that Charles must have passed away at a very young age. By the time the 1880 census came out, Jesse was 39 years old. He was the head of his own household by this point, and he was a farmer. So I'm assuming he must have had his own farm at this point. And he's uh, the other people listed in the census are his wife, Sarah, of course, uh, a son, John H., a William B., and an Artie O., and Lucinda. In, 19, in 1890, we find the family living in Eel River Township, North Salem, Hendricks, Indiana. That's a mouthful. The three older sons have left the home at this point, and now the only people left in the household would be Sarah, Jesse, and Lucinda, the daughter, Jesse L., the son, and Thomas N., also another son. At the age of about 69 years old in the 1910 census, Jesse is still farming, and two sons are currently still living with he and Sarah, John and Thomas. Now, John was 39 years old at this point, and Thomas was 24. Thomas is the baby. In the 1920 census, Jesse was 78 years old, and the census must have been done in January because Jesse passed away February 18th, 1920, just a month before his 79th birthday. He did leave his wife behind as she was still alive, but she passed away in July of the same year. Jesse and Sarah would have a total of about six children, that is including Charles, and he was a farmer his entire life, and he must have been a pretty hardworking man to provide for his family. Both he and Sarah are buried in the Bloomingdale Friends Cemetery in Park County, New York. Jesse is my third great grandfather, the father of Thomas Nicholas Plunkett, my second great grandfather, who I've already done a video on. So if you'd like to go and watch that, you can go ahead and do that. Also, while you're here, don't forget to give this video a like, a little thumbs up there. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell so that you'll be notified every time a video goes live. I'll see you guys later.